Welcome. In this video, I am going to talk about how we can measure the process performance. So first of all, how we can define the process that is set of activities which we are using to convert the input into the output that is known as a process. So when we are saying that converting the input into the output by doing some set of activities, those activities must be the value added activities. If we are performing some non value added activity, that means those are known as the wastages. Okay. And it is going to affect on our productivity of our process, right? So in order to improve the productivity, our process must be efficient as well as effective. So that means when we are quantifying the process performers, so three uh, methods or you can say three measurements are important. Uh, one is the efficiency of the process and another is the effectiveness of the process and the productivity. So in order to improve the productivity, okay, so that means we want that it should be as much as higher as possible, okay, when we are talking about the productivity point of view. So let's discuss how the productivity is linking with the effectiveness and the efficiency. So as you can see from this particular diagram, the effectiveness is related to the output of your process. So basically when we are saying output, we are talking about the outcome perspective. Okay. So what's the difference between the output and the outcome? Output is basically the quantity perspective or the physical uh, thing which we are getting out of the process. Whereas the outcome is the characteristics that are attached to the output or we can say attributes that are attached to the output. Okay. For example, if we are producing a certain product, the percentage of defective unit is basically the outcome. What is the cycle time? That is the outcome. What is the lead time? That is the outcome of this particular process, right? So we have to meet the specification of the customer. That means that is related to the output. So how we can define the effectiveness? That is basically the capability of producing a desired result or we can say the ability to produce the desired output. That means it is talking about the output perspective. So another way we can define the effectiveness, the degree to which the customer critical to quality are met or exceed. Okay, so that means we are talking about with respect to the outcome perspective that is attached to the output that we have to get the output according to the requirement of the customer. So now if you want to calculate the pure effectiveness that you can do it by doing the actual output divided by the reference or you can say the target output okay that is the effectiveness right now we are going to talk about uh, as we told that the effectiveness perspective which means that is a customer angle that means it is about what work is done which means the percentage of defective as i have given the example earlier response time the billing accuracy we are talking about the bill process perspective Okay, now we are talking about the efficiency. So how we can define the efficiency that is the ability to produce something with the minimum amount of effort. So that means the efficiency is directly related to your resources. Okay, could be man, okay, resource, could be the machine resource, could be energy is your resource, right? So the efficiency is directly related to the resources which we are using to converting the input into the output right so, so that means the efficiency concern is with respect to the activities of the process which we are using to convert the input to the output as well as the resources we are using which are converting the input into the output so how we can uh, calculate the efficiency that is basically as we are saying that the amount of resources we are needed to execute the process okay so in a minute i am going to show you the example how we can calculate the process efficiency as well as the process effectiveness but first of all as i uh, as i was telling telling about that the efficiency is purely linking with the process perspective or we can say resources perspective so by converting the input in the output Okay, for that particular process, how much resources I am using, how much cost I am using, how much time of the resources I am using, okay, how much resources they are doing the rework uh, work, okay, 
and how many men I am using, how many machine I am using. So that means the productivity is directly related with the efficiency and the effectiveness. So that means higher the effectiveness, more the productivity is. Okay, or we can say that the same uh, we have uh, we have to productive. That means more the effective and more the efficient we have, higher the productivity we can get. Right. Now let's see an example in which we are saying this is the flow this is the customer supplier so we are gi giving the input of the 100 units raw material but this process is taking 100 seconds to convert this 100 units into the output but out of this 100 90 unit we are able to meet that means the 10 unit either they are requiring rework or either they are scrapped okay the next process so that is taking the 90 unit as the input by using 200 seconds to convert this uh, input into the output so only 50 units as an output that means the 40 either they needed rework or either they are scrapped similarly at the end of the process the input is 50 so the output is the 40 unit and over here we are mentioning that this 90 unit is the WIP which is a work in process inventory and it requires 100 seconds as a waiting time okay uh, for the process to should start executing this particular process so now in order to calculate the efficiency and the effectiveness as we were talking about the efficiency is directly related to your resources or the process perspective so in order to calculate the efficiency first of all we need to know how much time we are spending over these units so that is basically we are considering the time that is 100 plus 1000 plus 200 plus 2500 uh, okay and then we have the 50 seconds so this is a total lead time right that we need to convert this unit into the output okay so normally we are saying that how much time we are uh, taking in order to convert the one unit into the output that is the total lead time so what's the waiting time that is basically the non value added time okay and the total processing time would be equal to this is 100 250 that is the total processing time so the value added this is basically a non value added time okay and what is the value added time that is basically 350 so 350 divided by the total time which is the lead time so only this process is 9% efficient so the rest of the part we are doing the non value added activity so in order to calculate the effectiveness, we need to calculate the first time yield or you can say first pass yield. So how we can do that, that is output of the process one. So remember that in a first pass yield, neither we are considering the rework unit, neither we are considering the scrap unit, only the unit that are passed at a first time. So 90 by 100. Okay, the next one is 50 by 90. The next one is 40 by 50. So this, these are the percentage. So if we are going to multiply these percentage, we are getting 40%. So which means this process at a first go, right at the first time, only able to produce 40% of the conforming unit, the 60% we are producing, either they are scrap or the rework units, okay? So in order to improve the efficiency and the effectiveness, we can apply different type of tools and techniques such as we can use lean we can use six segment techniques in order to improve the process so i hope you got the idea what is the efficiency what is the effectiveness what is the productivity and how we can calculate those one like right now i have given the example of uh, the efficiency of the process similarly you can calculate the efficiency of your man okay so that means by using the man hours how much output i am basically producing okay so that is purely with respect to the man efficiency similarly with respect to machine we can calculate with that with respect to the uh, energy perspective and so on so whatever the resources we are using whereas the effectiveness is purely related to your critical to quality critical to your customer whether we are able to achieve the target as per the defined customer expectation or not okay so thank you so much see you in the next video